What? So we spoke last week about having conversations with people that are different and always the if you guys disagree especially or if you agree but it would just be more of the same i know i feel bad someone was like i really want to call in but i agree with you guys and i don't i don't want to discriminate against people that happen to agree with us yeah i think it would make for a more interesting conversation if they happen to, to agree to what you disagree yeah but uh, i said that and some i think some people in the comments saw but i also saw that ted cruz has a podcast mm. and eric weinstein went on it and Ooh. it was very interesting to it was it was let me see what i wrote uh, yeah, that I've, I've never seen such a high profile. I, I didn't realize this was happening. One, Ted Cruz has a podcast. Yeah, that's fascinating to me. On its is own. that mind bending? Yeah. Like what? It what? It. I think it's this. This format will be corrupted as as all of the social media platforms have proven will happen. But right now, podcasting is still this kind of wide open space, and it's a chance for him to speak to intelligent people on camera for an extended period of time where nuance can be shown mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's such an amazing idea i think that if we haven't already we are going to have elected members of the senate congress and the presidency that rise up through the ranks of youtube and podcasts after mm -hmm. watching this because really all the ted cruz did was ask a handful of questions listen to eric weinstein and my opinion of him which was the only thing I knew him from was the Republican primaries and having some spit on his lip and <laughs> yeah, yeah. and kind of getting Lion dismantled Ted. by Trump. Lion Ted. Without knowing much about him, my opinion of him rose simply by watching him listen <laughs> to, to someone he disagreed to someone with. that he disagreed with and say, "Well, you know, I do I do see your point here, but I disagree here." And I, and just just watching him be courourteous and a human. Yeah, was which is to say it's not an endorsement of Ted no, Cruz's politics. No, I don't know any of Ted but Cruz's you're just politics. saying. It was a great move on his part because it humanized him a bit. Yes. And I think it opens, uh, there's just, it was it was cool to see. I think that there's a huge opportunity here for people that are, are well, maybe not if you're already in the Senate because you stand to lose if you mm -hmm. alienate your base. But if you are a nobody coming up in that way, like Andrew Yang style on the mm -hmm. podcast circuit. Dude, is, Candace Owens could be a VP candidate one day. Yeah. And she's, she's I think, completely made from social media right yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, that that was the biggest thing that i saw one it was cool that there was two people who disagreed with each other i wish they had debated more it was a lot of listening which was still cool um but there's a lot of eric weinstein talking telling him what he thought about some of the policies and and how we got to where we are uh but it's cool it was cool i want more of it and i think that it is the answer is to have people who disagree with one another mm -hmm. treating each other kindly and not coming to resolution is this you know when especially if they walk away feeling differently but still being kind to one another so mm -hmm. if especially if you are out there and you disagree with anything that we've done or said or whatever on the podcast come on be cool we'll be cordial uh and and that's it yeah, yeah cool anything else Hope that you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see more like this and have us do more podcasts, we are 100% funded by our generous patrons. And if you'd like to contribute, there's a link in the description and we'll have one pop up on the screen right here so that we can do more podcasts where we have fun conversations and hopefully some deep ones like this. Either way, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.